Let's take a look here at Amazon Neptune, which is a fast and reliable database built inside of the AWS ecosystem here. And it has a lot of really interesting things that are normally potentially uh, multiple steps. And if we go ahead and take a look here at how this works, first up we have database and we have notebook. So let's go ahead and launch the Neptune interface here. And when we dive in, you can see that you can build a provision one or you could also build a serverless. And what's interesting about serverless here is that uh, you wouldn't have to actually manage a cluster yourself, uh, which could be a huge win. We also have the development testing and we have the production uh, availability here. So notice in production is going to by default create a read replica in a different zone. So you may not want that if you're just going to play around with it. Uh, and also in terms of uh, connectivity here, that is going to select what kind of VPC uh, that you're going to want to connect to as well uh, and additionally some of the things you can do is you can actually uh, you know use an existing vpc security group or create a new vpc security group so once you've got all that stuff set up and you've configured it with the thing we'll do next here is take a look at how notebooks work so a notebook here is going to allow you to connect to the uh, graph database and in this particular scenario here i have a notebook uh, set up so it's running on its own uh, ecosystem here and if we s click on this you can see that it's actually hooked into SageMaker and if we want to actually open it up notice here we've got uh, Jupyter we have Jupyter Lab and we also have Graph Explorer so let's go ahead and take a look at Jupyter here first and if we open up uh, Jupyter we can go to Neptune and it'll give us a bunch of notebooks here on how to get started so you know really the hello world would be you know the first one to do and notice here that it actually gives us some great stuff about how you can actually do uh, Sparkwool, you can do uh, Gremlin, Open Cipher. So there's all these ways to communicate with it. And you can also do a status call as well uh, and see what the status of the cluster is, inter queries, et cetera, and even do these graph database type Gremlin queries. Now, if we go back over to this interface as well, there's also Graph Explorer. And if we go to Graph Explorer here, What's nice about this is it gives us a different kind of view into uh, what's happening and you can actually do a, a visualization uh, once you get this connected to your, your database. So in a nutshell here, you can see that uh, Neptune uh, is a graph database that's hosted on AWS. There have uh, you know traditional things like Jupyter Notebooks as well as Graph Explorers, and it's a great way to get started if you're already on the AWS platform.